Shalom Yisraela, and the staff souls by giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. The beloved Apostle JMS and honors to you, brother, doing the work in truth, while sincerity. We just like to do a quick one. Uh, you know, because when you first come into the truth, depending on the spirit that the Most High has given you, you may go through a period of time when you know you you try to be some kind of super duper Israelite this and the other. Well, really and true, that's. You know, it's supposed to just go in the spirit. The scriptures say that um, the Most High giveth the increase, right? So it says, Sirach three twenty one says, "Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength." Right? So you you know you find yourself delving into things that are just one not pertinent to your salvation, and two they like like I said they're they're too hard for you, right? When you read um, First Corinthians three and two it says, "I have fed you with milk." And not with me, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. Basically, Paul was saying, Look, I've given you some basics, I'm not giving you anything hard yet because you can't break it down, it's too much, you'll choke. Right? It goes on to say, For yeah, yet calm. Basically, you, you still look in the you, you know, you're still quite calm, you look in the um, uh, very flesh, you can't really see things in the spiritual light yet. That wisdom hasn't been imparted to you yet. Right, so for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not calm and walk as men? Right, it's so basically saying like, you know, it's when you, when you first come into this thing, you're supposed to just stay with with the milk first, and then you start going into the meat. Right, there were certain things I remember. I forgot what it was, but the apostles put out a test, and that test was only given to heads of camps. Why? Because the apostles knew that if everyone saw it, then people would get bugged out. Right now, if you was in the right frame of mind, you say, hey, that's, that's above my pay grade and keep it moving. But if you've got pride demons on you, then you'll go into it and start thinking, oh, why can't I get it? I'm on the level this, that and the other. But what does the scripture say in Sirach 3.21? See not the things that are too hard for thee. Right? This is Sirach 12 and 12 says, And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end, and much study is weariness of the flesh. Well, there are a million and a half books out there, and if you ain't if you ain't grounded in the scriptures, you'll start going astray. Really and truly, all you should do, man, read the scriptures, man, watch the apostles, you know, and uh, other brothers and camps of, of uh, you know, that, you know, of, of uh, renowns of the world I'm looking for. But basically, uh, you know, camps that are established, right, if you're come, coming straight into this thing, because the apostles, where it comes from, man, that's where the proper breakdowns come, but if you ain't grounded, you'll start looking into things like the book of Jasher, you know, you, it's mentioned in the scriptures, but then the one we have now ain't, ain't the right thing, man, you'll get bugged out if you ain't grounded. Right, you might start going into a lot of Esau's philosophy, Esau's knowledge, and if you ain't, if you ain't, um, what do you call it? If you ain't uh, grounded in this thing, you're gonna go off. For instance, I'll give you a personal example. When I first came in, I was reading um, Nature Knows No Color Line, talking about how Edomites were a genetic mutation, and because I wasn't grounded, I was believing, say, yeah, 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 Edomites, yeah, genetic mutation, this, that, and the other, but that ain't so. Genesis twenty five tells you why Edomites look the way they are. Right, in fact, when you read back in Genesis, when the mark of Cain, you know, that's telling you where Edomites come from, not no genetic mutation, this, that, and the other. Well, you should just stick to the scriptures. Right, it says, uh, uh, Proverbs 25 and 16 says, Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith, and vomit it. Right, and that's this, this uh, when you read Revelation 10, 10, it says, these scriptures are, are like honey, man. Right, but if you if you're eating too much honey, you'll vomit it out, man. You 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 be like, yo, man, you bug out and you end up back in the world, man. Right, so you're supposed to let the Most High increase you, and ultimately, what it comes down to is faith, right? Because when you first come into this thing, certain things won't make sense, but you just have to accept it and just let it let let the understanding come with time. Like there's certain questions you ask, man, and brothers will be like, you know, you, you ask certain questions, right, and brothers will be like, hey, man, I ain't really pertinent for, for your salvation, right? But then the apostles several months down the line will do a video, you know, I've, I, I once again can attest to that. 
you know, I was asking questions. I really had nothing to do with my salvation. But, you know, Spirit had it whereby, you know, months, yeah, maybe even a year or so down the line, the apostle just answered the question in the video, man. So really and truly, if you're watching in our videos, you are, your questions will be answered. All right, but what I was saying about faith is some things you won't be able to break down. You just have to say, hey, you know, it's in the scriptures. I believe it. Maybe the Lord will give me the understanding on it one day. And that's just the end of that. Right, this is Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right, when you, when you try to talk to these heathens about the flood, right, they say, oh, you, how can you, you know, speak about the flood, this, that, and the other? I, I physically cannot prove it. But by faith, I believe it. It's in the scriptures, so it must have happened. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. So, you know, you know I don't want to title this one, but, um, you know, Lord's already been edified, right? And, you know, if you're coming in, think, just, just stick to the scriptures, stick to what the apostles are saying. And I'm going to say, sure, well.